Well, welcome back to It's Hot Outside and It's Hot Inside, and I don't like doing anything outside though, so I stay inside and make stuff. Guess who finally got into crocheting something, and it, it didn't turn out terrible. I did. Let me just raise my hand there. I'm learning new skills over here. Maybe. I'll probably forget it in about a week, but you know. Stuff. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with this, and I wanted to share it, so I hope you enjoy me making a crocheted rose. And this one actually turned out well. You'll get to see others that did not. Let's get right into it. So, in the beginning of this, my cat decided to join me, and me being the ever-so-heartful person that I am, I decided not to move him, and he later moved himself. But... He was adorable for the time he was there, and I absolutely adored that I got to work over him, and he didn't get in the way at all, but I still love him, and he's cute, so we're keeping him forever. Anyway, with that being said, say hi to Ginger. He doesn't care, but, you know, be a nice human being, unlike me. So anyway, I decided to use red thread for this, even though I hadn't used any red thread for the previous roses I'd come on, but let's be and make something in a color somebody would understand. Like, let's not make a big rainbow one, <laughs> cough, cough, foreshadowing, or a, a really weird looking yellow one, <laughs> cough, cough, more foreshadowing. But let's just go with the simplistic, like, everybody knows what a red rose looks like. At least it feels like everybody knows what a red rose looks like. And I got to crochet it, which I have made a couple of these already, so it wasn't too terrible other than, like, the humidity in where I live has gone up, so I can't, like, the string doesn't move over my finger because there's just enough humidity that it, like, sticks, so I had to constantly, like, pull more thread out and... It was a bit more of a hassle than it normally would be, you know, if it was dry outside. But no, it's just decided to become summer here. So it's super hot and super humid, and this was harder to make than normal. And while I was making this, being the ever so I am, I have for the normal just like a basic single knot chain that has either 30, 60, or 90 knots on it. I don't know why it goes up by 30s. But I had been experimenting with how many knots I could do to make it look how I wanted it. And I found out that about 40, 45-ish knots was what I found to be best for the small, not weird looking small, but like the small, nice looking rows. I found like the 30 knot ones would kind of look odd, which you'll see some of those at the end, you know, the foreshadowing I said a little bit ago. You'll see some of those and how I just, I thought they didn't look quite right, so I kept trying to experiment and maybe add more petals, and the more petals didn't really work because then it was just bulky. And it, it was a whole process that I spent about a day on because I actually cared about it for like a day, and then I didn't come back to it until like a week later. And then I'm like, you know what, let's solve this problem now instead of doing anything else that I probably should have been doing instead. <laughs> I will say favorite part about making crocheted roses would definitely be all the double knots that I would have to make for the petals because like the base of it is already made and then you pre-made yourself. Anyway, you have to stick it through and then you have to pull more out and I just it, it's it can be a bit annoying trying to get it through depending on how tight or loose I make the knots. If they're looser knots then it's easy but I tend to make my knots kind of tight, so then it, then it's just annoying. So I like making the petal part because it's easy and very repetitive, so you can get faster at it with practice. Like at the beginning, it's kind of like, oh, this is a little bit difficult again, and then you just get into it, and it's easy, and... And they turn out looking so cute, and it doesn't take five hours like most of the bracelets I make. Though I will be making more of those because it's summer and I actually have time to spend stuff on string. Lots of tiny little pieces of string. After I finished up the base of the rose, that's when I got to stitch it all together as one consecutive piece. With just a one of those plastic needles that 
you don't actually need to be putting through fabric, so it just... Anyway, and I had a finished little crocheted rose that I could throw into a corner somewhere and forget about for the rest of my life. And of course I made more of them, and that yellow rose and the white rose are the ones where I only used 30, and I think they look kinda blobby and bad. So that's why I went with the 40 one. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and maybe I'll see you later. Bye-bye!